to and guys today we are going to be looking at some people who decided to go against the grain and go against society's standards and norms and take the back door. I know we've been told to take the front door our entire lives but I think that these people are really brave for taking the road less traveled. So today I urge you guys to take the road less traveled. Two roads diverged in a wood. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference and let's take the back door together personally at my home i like to take the back door because it's just situated in a more convenient way it's attached to my driveway but anyway let's jump right in <laughs> Right. I definitely believe that there should be an etiquette when it comes to how you enter doors, especially the back door. Back door etiquette is the absolute most crucial thing in the world. Hey, I'm bored. Do you want to come over? Yeah. Yeah, of course you can come in my back door. But why? Hello? Hello? I think that they'll definitely have a, a really, a really fun time, whatever it is that they end up doing. Uh, I bet there is a really good reason why he wants to come in through the back door. I'm sure she has a really nice, well-maintained back door, and that's why. My back door keeps slamming, so I'm in I feel like for some people who are just so against the back door, it's gonna be a slam shut case and there's just no convincing them. And I think for me, people entering through my back door, it was a slam shut case for a long time. Um, up until recently, you know, I really started to just open that door back up again and I, I fixed that door, I put those hinges back on, I fixed the knob um, and the door's back in use again. And you know, maybe that's a story for another time. Oh my god! Oh my god. Mm, yeah, see, and that's what I'm saying. It's all about acclimation, readjustment, lubrication. It's like sending a canoe down a river that's been dried up. You might smoke and weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of. I think that there shouldn't be a stigma. It's just human nature. It's just bodies. I mean, people have been doing it for centuries, for thousands of years. If it's there, it's meant to be used, right? I mean, that's just my theory. I've gotten to a stage in my life with my body where I just feel very, very, very comfortable. And maybe just like almost too comfortable. I feel very comfortable with you guys. I feel comfortable talking about almost anything on the internet. And when I see people shaming me online, they're just not there yet. Maybe Maybe they are just so deeply insecure with themselves. They're having such a hard time that they're just lashing out at me and that's like a them problem. And so I'm gonna let them be mad. <laughs> about that. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that one, but you know, sound off in the comments below. Do you agree with me or do you not agree with me? That completely depends on the person. I think I've reached a, a stage where like, yes, enjoyable, that enjoyable? Uh, I don't know about that. And I wouldn't call that maturing either. I would call that just preference. consent thing but if you're forgoing the whole consent thing then okay all right i understand but damn that is some intense brave 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 soul that is one badass hell of a girl and i'm sure there are plenty of men in the comments who are 
who would be very, very happy with her. So, life short, smoke port, auto port, auto port. Am I scared? Nah. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, yes. I mean, I completely understand. I have a lot of girlfriends and they feel the same exact way. And I mean, I can understand why. It is very intimidating at first. It all comes down to finding that right person who helps put you at ease and makes you feel comfortable, you know? It's your house, it's your home, and you don't want an intruder just coming in and messing it up. You know, you let lots and lots of people enter your home through your front door. And that's fine because, you know, that's where you're used to inviting people in through your home. You're not really used to having people come in through the back. Sometimes you don't keep the back of your house super well maintained. Like, have you trimmed the hedges in the back of your house? Like, does your back door even look clean? Have you like power washed it back there? It might be dirty. There might be like mud all over that door. You know, you don't know. Like, have you even, have you even looked back there? So I don't understand. It can be a little bit scary. So cocktails of beers? Ooh, I love, I love the shock that people experience when they find that out about you. It's always like, oh my gosh, no, you harlot. So scandalous. And I'm just like, really? This is nothing. It's like foreplay at this point. Shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! Are you doing this? No, I'm doing this! <laughs> Are you doing this? No, I'm doing this. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, that like perfectly accur accurately describes the first time. Yep, 100%. And then the worst part is like the more scared you are, the more you just like, oh, it's just, it makes everything worse. The key is, <sighs> if I just breathe every little piece of me, you'll see. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to like Michelle branch it out for a moment. Sorry, bot. I can't serve booze to a minor. It ain't right. I'm here about fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> they just referred to a woman's period as Shark Week. Okay, I am officially now adopting that phrase, and that's a brilliant. <laughs> literally feel your soul leaving your body when that happens. Tab. How cruel. There is no possibility. None. It's a never for me. Okay. <laughs> Some people are just never gonna get there mentally. They're just always gonna be in the no column. And I think that's okay. I think that if you're in a relationship with that person who's always gonna be in the no column, you just have to respect that. And that sucks. Because if it's like something that's really important to you, then maybe you're in the wrong relationship and you're in the wrong marriage. I have a question for you guys in the comments. If you are in a relationship with somebody and you really wanna try something and that's like really, really important to you, can you see yourself staying in a relationship with that person that's the question that you have to really ask yourself three tips for you one relaxation otherwise not gonna feel good two communication there's no switching lanes without signaling here three unless you're the girl that was in the previous tiktok and you're into that and most important water vacation oh or that yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm so worthy She's actually insane. I follow her on TikTok. I don't even know how she's not like banned from TikTok to be completely honest with you with the content she posts. She is magnanimous. She's magnetic. I can't stop watching. I'm not a fan of cheating. I'm not a fan of encouraging men to leave their significant others. Not about your vibe. Bing, bing, 
that don't belong up there, up there. You know what I mean? If it doesn't have a flared base, it doesn't belong up there. Mm. The base needs to be like a T, so it doesn't get sucked up. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, yes, guys. I mean, have you ever seen the show on her trips to the ER or whatever, where like people get things like lost up there and like that thing is coiled and long and endless. And once something ends up there, it is basically in a black hole. You're gonna need to have it like surgically extracted. So whatever it is, make sure it has a handle. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you know, however you allow your lovely guests and friends enter your lovely home, make sure that they are worthy. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! And make sure that you trust them because the home is where the heart is. Thank you guys. Make sure to go check out my socials and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you never miss another video. I post every single day and I post the best videos on YouTube. I am one of the most entertaining channels on this platform. And I'm sure when you subscribe, it'll be the most unforgettable, unregrettable experience of your entire life. Also make sure to check out my Unfiltered, which is where I post my spicy, delightful content. And I better see you tomorrow. Bye.